So far so okay here with the market right here on ET now about a half a percent higher the breath looking even better about 109 stocks standing to the advances as we speak. Indibles Housing, Cadilla, Gale, ONGC, NIIT Technology is where you're seeing the spots of green within the liquid universe. ITC also seeing some more buying so nice follow through from yesterday remember this was a big gainer Bata, Cummins, Lupin and IGL are some of the other names which are sitting in the green. Kodak Bank, Bajaj Finance, Yes Bank, Indusin, ICICI Bank, HDFC Bank, the private banking names and the blue chip of them all, uh, that's uh, where the problem currently really is. And they are the ones which are at the deep end in the red. You know, but this is about equities. It's quite intriguing as to how uh, even gold has had uh, a bit of a fall in the past many days. Now, that's a come to selling pressure. One would assume that this is a safe haven, so this would continue to hold up, but that's not really turning out to be the case. So let's take our conversation forward and joining us right now, the MD at India World Coal Council, uh, Mr. P.R. Somasundaram joins in on the show. Mr. Somasundaram, morning. Thanks uh, so much for taking the time out and speaking with us at ET now. You know, it's quite intriguing. While in the last three months, if you were to take a look at gold's performance, that's been sitting on an uptick. But ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, You've seen even gold, which is traditionally being looked at as a safe haven. In times of distress, gold is what actually shoots up. That's where people find comfort. Even that's been caving in. Why is it uh, you think that this has been happening? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, certainly it's linked to uh, several factors. It's uh, primarily massive liquidation of virtually all the asset classes. Uh, that we experienced in the last week, particularly, and gold was no exception. And gold is more liquid. So, you know, when people try to cover positions, leveraged positions, and there is also rule-based trading, they've got to wind up their positions. Gold comes in very handy. So that is one of the reasons. We have seen this happen even historically, uh, this kind of pullbacks, so the, uh, the correlation generally between stocks and gold turns negative as stock prices tumble. However, there seems to be an exception when there is disorderly selling. Uh, we have seen this in the past. So uh, one of the reasons, as I said, is uh, it's massive liquidation of all asset classes, um, and it's a temporary phenomenon. Okay, but you know it's intriguing because world over central banks are slashing interest rates. Hopefully India should be next in line. But gold is not even reacting to that. Yes. Uh, well. Uh, as you said, it's, it's across the asset classes, so, uh, you know, the sentiment also hasn't uh, quite helped. It is, it's just that uh, uh, people are probably sitting more on cash to see which way things turn. Um, so cash is king in such times. Um, uh, as I said, we have seen this happen in the past as well. Uh, this is complete disorderly selling. This is, this is, uh, so you will see, therefore, people, uh, and as I said, gold is very liquid. So it comes in handy to settle your positions. Uh, so that also has added to this chaos. Um, and therefore, it's hugely volatile. On the demand side, obviously, there's nothing to support right now. Where could gold prices go from here? Where is it that you see them actually normalize? Well, uh, as you can see, there is again going to be a huge support of uh, all the currencies. You know, there will be uh, additional QEs that have already been announced. We should see how they play out. Um, so certainly this looks good for gold long term. It should, it should just, uh, you know, if you have more currencies uh, floating around, uh, it will be good. But uh, I just have to say, you know, equities have come down so much, particularly in India now. Um, Certainly, gold will have a good run next two, three years, absolutely sure. But it is also possible that because of the low prices of uh, many of the uh, equities, uh, they may also uh, offer a very attractive uh, uh, return for the next three years. So gold is going to have a competition here. It's not just, just because you know, gold prices are going to go up. They will be good. So far, gold is the best performing asset class. It will have a good run next uh, uh, couple of years because of the additional QEs that's being announced. But because equities have fallen so low, they will offer a huge, uh, uh, you know, they will also become very attractive when things uh, come to normal. 
Okay, good to get in both the uh, perspective on both asset classes from you, Mr. Somathur Sundaram. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for taking the time and joining in today. In fact, we're going to wind up with this edition of the market on that note.